Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. We're here with Atticus on the Normandy. Let's check in with the war terminal, see what came up, and then check in with the crew. And then we have a little bit more planet scanning, and then we can just head to the Citadel. Alliance. See what we got, because we probably got a good deal of things at their last episode. Zeus Hope Colonist. The Asari Shiala was rescued by Commander Shepard from the Thorian on Zeus Hope. Now she leads a militia of Zeus Hope's colonists waging a surprisingly effective campaign against approaching Reapers. Shiala suspects the group's prior connection to the Thorian gives their soldiers an uncanny ability to sense one another, allowing them to think and act as one in battle. The long-term consequences of this connection are unknown, but for now at least, its effects are helping the cause. It's crazy because, if you think about it, they have multiple minds thinking together. So that's how you basically fight indoctrination. One mind, if Shiala was just one mind and not all connected like she was from the Thorian, then indoctrination would have done took her. But because it's many minds, kind of like how the connection is with the Rachni, that's how they're able to fight. That's how they're able to fight it. Crazy. Crucible. Volus Fabrication Units. All these companies are skilled at mass producing whatever manufactured goods are currently in demand. Factories use modular equipment to switch their production lines to arms, to housing, to the next big galactic buying trend. Recovered from a manufacturing compound, these fabrication units can stamp out custom plastics for the crucible on an industrial scale. Interferometric Array Normally, interferometric arrays are used to analyze planetary landmasses, or to determine an astrophysical properties of stellar systems. The powerful array salvaged from the Hercules system can be used for something much more ambitious. The Crucible tunes into the Mass Relay's command switches. Installing the interferometric array into the Crucible systems results in a real-time map of the entire galaxy. Whoa including the position of each and every reaper in the milky way what the hell that sounds incredibly powerful whoa exogeny scientists the exogeny corporation helped fund colonies all over the galaxy in exchange for a share of a natural resources found by settlers zeus hope was one of the richest claims the colonists were obliged to turn over any Prothean discoveries in the ancient ruins of Pharos. A team of exogeny scientists studying a few scraps of Prothean material found around Zeus Hope have become experts in their own right. Contributing their knowledge to the Crucible Project. Well, there we go. An ex Cerberus. Interesting. Advanced Fighter Squadron. A squadron of advanced fighter ships was liberated from Cerberus forces in Novaria. Fast, agile, and remarkably fuel-efficient, these one-person spacecrafts pack surprisingly heavy firepower for their size. After the Alliance installed their own VI programs and swept for hidden bugs or transmission signals, they repainted their fighters and pressed them into service. Easy peasy. It makes me wonder that the people that we're picking up from Cerberus is this ex-Cerberus. I guess not everyone from Cerberus is probably indoctrinated at this point. Let me look at Alien real quick. Terminus, Rachni, Shadow Broker, Wet Squad, Spectre, Unit, and Drell Hanar. Krogan? The Krogan Clans! This is... it has to be an update, yeah? Commander Shepard's interview with Diana Allers about bringing the Krogan into the Reaper War cast the Krogan in a favorable light, which drew even more of the clans to the Allied Forces banner. There we go. Completely caught the speed. Now, what does this say? Because we're over the minimum. Allied forces are suffering losses from aggressive Reaper strikes on their positions. Troops assisting in the final battle will have a strength of 3,286. Chances of success are poor. Still poor. All right, well, one day we'll be able to beat the Reapers, I think. It's not today. Let's go and check in with the crew and see what's going on because we did just do a mission, even though it was a side mission, but it was still a mission. Cerberus seemed popular for a while. They were fighting the Collectors while the Council sat and watched. And now they're killing civilians and attacking our allies. Quite a dramatic change, don't you think? We stopped the Collectors, 
And, well, I wonder what Mr. Elusive will be doing with that human reaper. You've got we, new messages, Commander. If we end up giving it to him. Commander. Hey, trainer. So we got new messages. Hope lives. From Erdnot Bakara, Commander, I'm writing you from the Celtic Valley onto Chunka. I wish you were here to see this. I'm watching Krogan pour in from across our entire planet. So many of them that I've lost count. They've all heard the news. We are finally free. The age of suffering is over. Never again will the Krogan be afraid to give birth. Never again will they fear the pain and heartache it might bring. While I don't know what fate ultimately has in store for my people, I can promise you your decision to believe in us will not be in vain. We will fight the Reapers for more than glory. We will fight them because we know there is future for us after victory. The rest of my life will be devoted to traveling to Chunka and speaking aloud the words no Krogan has heard in nearly 2,000 years. There is reason to hope. This I owe to you, Commander. This I will never forget. Eve. I hope she stays on that path. She's in the Celtic Valley. Isn't that where the bomb was? I'd imagine if we did not... Seriously, if we did not disable that bomb, things could be looking a lot different. Because that was in the Celtic Valley. Holy hell, man. This game knows how to get you, doesn't it? Well, I'm happy Eve's doing that because she's so inspiring. She's so... Damn, I could really use something to shoot right now. Collectors again? You want to wolf up on some collectors? Commander. Joker. Auxiliary power units are depleted to 82.04% capacity. This should be corrected. Yeah, I'll get it before we go in atmosphere again. I will run a diagnostic on it. Edie, we've got five of them. According to the diagnostic, we now have four. Four? Hello, Shepard. Take it easy, easy. Easy. Let's head on down. Keep on going. Eve is inspiring. She's a very good match for Rex. I do hope I'm just shipping it. I really am. I'm shipping it. Because you know it's going to happen. Come on. You just know it's got to happen. Rex and Eve get together. It just makes too much sense. Leora Garris and Dr. Chakwas. Nobody new here. Okay. We'll talk to Chakwas. She probably don't really have anything that much. Good to see you, Commander. You too, Chakwas. She don't have nothing. Go talk to old Garrus and then Leora. We got a few more planets left to scan out in the the system that we're in, or the system that we're gonna have to go to. Maybe later. Garrus. Maybe later. All right, all right. All right. Well, definitely no one has anything other this. Just the uh, Joker had a mouth thing with Edie. Never know. Greetings, Commander. Steve will probably definitely have something. He usually tends to have something after. Hello, Shepard. Hey. Hello, Shepard. After N7s. That's fine. Alright, well, let's keep on going. See what's going on down the lower decks. The engineers. <laughs> Donnelly has something. You fucking know it. That's so cool that we got Krogan support just from Allers. That was a good thing to bring her on the Normandy. Huh. Second Star Broadcasting is headhunting me. I liked their Garvuk story, but seriously, I'm on the Normandy. Sure the fuck are. Do we need to talk, Commander? <laughs> Get off my ship. Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Take it easy, Allers! Second star? Whoever they are is headhunting you? Well, keep doing what you're doing because you're obviously doing the right thing. If people are trying to headhunt you. Whoa! They don't have anything! Shepard. My board is green. Whoa! Nothing to report, Commander. Damn! Okay, maybe we're getting to the point where it's going to start just being, uh, it's very minor after each mission. I'm still checking in. Hell with it. Seeing all these primitives flying spaceships is <laughs> unexpected and very dangerous. <laughs> I don't think they're primitives anymore, Javik. Seriously. For one who claims to be an expert on my people, your Asari knows very little. The Reapers are very good at hiding their secrets. Commander. Commander. Take it easy, Javik. Have a good day. <laughs> All these primitives flying these ships is, is very dangerous, he says. <laughs> Are we considered primitives anymore? I just don't I don't think so. Maybe to him. But at the moment it's like he's a primitive in our in our timeline, kinda, in a way. 
That last mission on Novaria shows why I love the Kodiak. All you did was drop us off and bug her out. How are you proud of that? I seem to remember being shot at the whole time, and everyone coming back in one piece, Mr. Vega. Yeah, next time park it and come join the party, Esteban. He's up there killing, though, James. He's up in the sky just whooping Zerberus up. Diagnostics flagged excessive wear on a transducer. Replacing just in case. Okay. Shuttle's primed for the next drop. Ooh. Anything else, Steve? Shuttle's primed for the next drop. All right, Steve is good. All you did was drop us off and bugger out. Steve does a lot of shit up there, though. We just don't see it. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? James is good as well. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's head out. Everything is good. We are good to go. I do enjoy that James and Steve have something after just about every N7 mission. <laughs> Poor James, man. It's just hard not to bring Liara and Garrus on main missions. And I know James wants to go to Tachunga. <laughs> And we've been using James for nothing but N7 missions. We'll get him in a mission. We have to at some point. A good mission. Like a good side mission or a good main mission or something. We got you, James. I really love James. There's no companion in this game so far I don't like. They're all so good. To be fair, there's no companion in any of the Mass Effect games that I don't like. Alright, let's go to that one area and read all that stuff. We have a lot. Kinda. But we'll make some good time of it and knock it all out. This whole first area is done. The Reapers are not here now, which is good. Let's go and scan the other ones because there is a good deal. And this is all Volus. Oh, wait, shit. This is all Volus stuff. But it could be very small in here. It's not. Oh, my word. Oh. All right, let's start reading, Mola. For a terrestrial planet, Mola hurdles around the system star at breakneck speed. Its rapid orbit and molten core cause oceans of magma to be pumped out onto the surface, cooling into continent-sized formations, then erased by fresh flows of molten rock. Straight, simple, and to the point. Solupolis. Solupolis. Maybe. Helium-3 collection mechanism Historically turned a large profit not because of any great immigration into the Sori system, because Solupolis made good refueling stop between Irun and Satu Ard. Warned of the Reaper's battle plans, but left with little other option, a select team of workers at Solupolis sent out phony communications suggesting that important military data was being handed off here. When the Reapers sent in a force of Hus, they ran into Volus' trap. A chain reaction that annihilated the station. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. Were they on the station, though? I don't think so. It was a phony signal. Just lured them and then killed them all. Yalo? Yalo, frigid surface is dotted with impact craters left during the legendary meteor shower that happened more than 400,000 years ago. The meteors contain traces of cobalt, but not enough to warrant a full scale mining expedition. The Volus have largely left Kialo alone, as have the Reapers. Good on them. Let's scan here. Nothing. Yan Tayo? That's so much Reaper awareness just from one scan. Crazy. Even by Volus standards, the pressure on Yan Tayo is crushing. With the atmosphere composed of carbon dioxide, argon, and small traces of oxygen, the surface is devoid of life. However, tiny fossilized sea creatures have been discovered in the deepest crevices of what used to be Yantayo's oceans. Well, it's going to have to be over here. Atros... Rin? Atros Rin was claimed along with the rest of its system after the Volus learned FTL travel in the Great Volus Exploration Push of 300 BCE. The species found only a few planets capable of supporting their colonies. They did, however, discover many planets teeming with valuable elements. The orbiting robo-mining platforms on Antos have since been shot through by the Reapers. Little remains except the occasional bit of space debris posing a navigational hazard. I have a feeling it's this one. Not. Really? Signal confirmed. Fuck off. Ow. 
Okay, there's two right there. Evasion successful. So we must have not we must not have been far enough over there. Hey Reapers! Let me in, let me scan it. Yeah, we must not have been far enough. That's fine. But we sure the hell got alert from the Reapers really quick. Money, 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 money! Hit us with the good stuff. Bolus, Dreadnought, Wanu? Works too. The more forces, the better. Let's get some fuel. Oh, the Reapers are gonna be gunning for us. 300? Negative. Reapers eluded. Okay, we're going to Satu Ard. And then we will head to the last one. Satu Ard. What do you got going on here? This looks like three. Hello, Tem. This world is believed to be an extrasolar capture that built up its atmosphere over millions of years to become the hothouse it is today. Bolus of Robo Miners descended on Polo Tem when Element Zero was first discovered there, and in turn, Pyrus descended on the Volus. The Pyrus then found out to their deterrent that wealthy Volus can buy a lot of influence in the Turian hierarchy. The Reapers occupied Polo Tem orbital stations rather than destroying them outright. It is possible that Element Zero is rare enough that the Reapers harvest it, but it is more likely that the Reapers are stationing ships here in case the Turian forces they drove off seek to recapture it. Whoa. Hold on. Nallison. A lonely world of rock and ice. Nallison clings to the outer rim of Satu Ard systems. Its freezing temperatures and carbon dioxide atmosphere were braved by Ezo smugglers who set up camps in the tunnels honeycombing the southern hemisphere mountain ranges. The camps were abandoned when Turian patrols began regular raids on the smugglers' cave systems. So the Turians pretty much take care of the uh, Volus. At a cost. Pretty much. But still, they see the, the Volus as allies, basically. Well, we know that from just... <laughs> we know it just from the game itself. But I'm talking about this early on. I wonder if the Turians maybe had a little bit of conflict with the Volus and then they just became fast friends in a way, kinda. Rilar is a barren terrestrial rock world, only a small portion of its planet has been explored. A century scan showed little of interest on Rilar compared to Ezo deposits on the neighboring world of Palau. The planets appeared not to have garnered Reaper attention, which would make it a good rendezvous point for any scattered organic force needing to discharge their drive cores. Well, let's try this outer one first. I found something. Seems to be the really more dangerous ones to get. Give me that money, huh? I know you want to. Volus Engineering Team. Can't beat that. We're at 50%, so it's probably gas. Hey, Reaps. Come on in. Whoa. Faster than light jump successful. Nothing to see here. It's gonna be over here, sadly. We got some fuel. Nope. Evasion successful. Let's head to Nara. And this is the last one here, and then we'll head off to the Citadel and see what kind of mysterious shit's going on with Udina. Interesting, this all thought this was a fucking black hole at first. Lahu? Massive silicate-filled dust storms plagued the surface of Lahu. In an odd partnership of commerce and science, High Rolling Volus Casinos on Omakur entered a partnership with the scientific research teams whose observation satellites watch over Lahu. The casinos took bets on how long Lahu's storms would last and how high their wind speeds might climb. Payouts made the rare Volus rich, with jackpot winners forming a small fraternal order. The Reapers have destroyed the satellites. The Reapers destroyed the satellites on there. Let's Signal scan here. Confirmed. Seemed like a, a spot that it would definitely be something. 
Omakur. Omakur is a temperate garden world currently in its magna fauna stage. The planet's nitrogen, oxygen, atmosphere, and dextroamino acid based life wasn't particularly attractive to the Volus. So they sold the colonization rights to their Turian partners. Omakur's spaceport and major roads were blasted into craters by the Reapers. Largely immobilizing the population, its Turian defenses are slowly being pushed back by ground forces. Colony founded in 1153 CE, population 259 million. Is that million? Yeah, it's million. It's either million or billion. I think it's million. Population estimated pre invasion and capital Serlik. Let's scan. It's going to be Turian something. Getting a lot of resources doing this. This is a great. Oh, Volus Intelligence Archives. Well, we're going to have to do that before we head off to the next main mission. We did that planet. We did this planet. Gargan. Oh, well, it's definitely gas, the last one. Like well in a room, Gargan was a hydrogen helium gas giant whose helium 3 infrastructure was destroyed by the Reapers. Look at this big mother effer. Oh. Whelm Urn? Whelm Urn is a hydrogen and helium gas giant. The phrase Whelm Urn in the Volus native language translates to the Golden One. In reference to its deep yellow orange rings, much to prospectors' dismay, there was no gold to be found in its moons. Whelm Urn's economic contribution to the system was helium 3, but the collection material have since been destroyed by the Reapers. Let's scan for gas. Oh, hell. Thank you. Did we literally not get Reapers called on us? On this one? We sure the fuck didn't. Reapers eluded. See ya, suckers. Alright, well, this one is completely done. A lot of interesting stuff going on here in the Volus system. Shit ton of uh, assets. We have Volus intelligence. We need to do that. We'll head over to the Citadel system, and then I want to go down to Liara's office. Let me just make sure. This is 100%, 100%. 100, 100. We can't do nothing here. Can't do nothing here. 100, 100, 100. 100. There was nothing here. It's so crazy that there's nothing in the uh, Rachni system. Nothing here. Here. Good. Good, and we are golden. Citadel it is. I want to see what this Volus intelligence is, though, first. I'm curious to see what the hell we just got. Glyph hit us with the good stuff. I kind of want more... discount stuff. Or maybe cooldown. Find, Commander. Thank the information you, network terminal has been updated. I owe it all to Edie for the scans. Volus Intelligence Archives. The Salarian Special Task Force appears to have approached the Vol Protectorate about co-developing combat implants that require rare elements found in Volus space. Is that what they... Oh, is that what they call it? The Vol Protectorate? The schematics for these implants include plans to retrofit the non-Salarian species should it be a significantly profit venture. One of these upgrades could be commissioned, although its construction would be time-consuming and must be custom-made. It's open. We got power damage and health. Let's go with the power damage. Hell with health. I think we'll be okay. We're a glass cannon as it is. What's a little bit of health going to do for us? Still going to be a glass cannon, probably. So let's be a glass full cannon. Not a glass half full cannon, yeah? Power damage bonus. Let's do it. Thank you. Shepard's got a lot of shit. Thank you, Glyph. Take care. Have a good one. Power damage bonus. We still need to get a bonus power one of these years. We will. We will. I'm just holding out for a good one that I feel is going to be really good. We can definitely use the warp ammo one, sure. Just really want it because everyone has an ammo that pretty much is given to us so I don't really feel like we should use a ammo ourselves. all right well let's head to the Citadel we have nothing else we are completely good 
Meet the Salarian Consular on the Citadel. Doc? We need to hit up some upgrades while we're here, too. Alliance Control, this is SSV Normandy. Are we clear to descend? Alliance Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 1-4, Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? What's going on? Fucking Cerberus? What the hell's going on down there? Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Checking emergency channels. Hey, yeah, this is Joker. Uh-huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. Put him through. Shepard, the Citadel is under attack. Cerberus troops are everywhere and they're in control of the docks. Are you safe? No. I had to evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm in a Presidium storefront. Did Caden make it out? We got separated. He said he had to protect the Council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Why CSEC headquarters? It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. Alright. Joker, get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. Aye aye, Commander. Well, who are we going to take? I'm thinking we're taking James. James, we're going to put you on a main mission. I think it's about time. Citadel is under attack. Well, the rest of the companions, the only one I can think of that even has any stake on the Citadel could possibly be Garrus. Because, well, he worked on the Citadel at some point as a CSEC officer. But... Edie probably has good stuff too. Let's go with Garrus. James and Garrus. Yep. We gotta go low cooldown here because we have no biotic help. <laughs> the Grawl spike throw was so fucking badass. It really was. Crusader, oh, I just love to get you going again, Crusader. I'm gonna miss you. I think we can still do it. Let's take the Phalanx off, take the Eagle off. 121 with just the Crusader. Hell, let me see if I can get a really light one. I think anything over 100 is not bad. 105. Look, we're just using a backup. Basically. We'll use the Shirukin. Shirukin? Because I just love the Crusader. There's no way I can't not use it. James is good. Crusader and Prothean Particle Bean. Garrus is good. Bastion. And the Mantis. We should probably upgrade Garrus' weapon. To be honest with you, we should probably start upgrading the, the Companion's weapons in general. 100, you think that's enough to spam? It really might be. We can just say fuck it and go with one weapon. 121. I'm just scared we'll run out of ammo. This game is pretty good with ammo. Have we ever just ran out of ammo? Well, yeah. Let's not. Let's not tempt fate. 100? That's still a lot. Confirm, let's do it. Shepard has five points. I don't really know what to give Shepard at the moment. I kind of want to wait because cluster grenades, I just don't use enough. I don't feel like it's a very effective ability. Right now, maybe upgrading it all the way would be effective. Impact radius is good, more damage, more grenades, increased damage, already lifted targets, shrapnel by two. I think it's a good ability, but if you want my honest opinion, we have to be really close to the enemy. And it has to be a big enemy, so if it's like a brute and it's pretty close to us, Shepard throws their grenades, all three of their grenades are going to fuck that brute up, and it's really effective against turrets as well. So this ability is, this friggin' power, this grenade is so good, it's just we don't really use it that much, that's kind of what I'm getting at. And Jockway, we don't use it that much at all, either. I think we save some points here. I think we do. Garrus, 7 points. Sure. Increase health and armor damage by 10%. Increase armor's cover penetration by 
Increases the effectiveness of armor targets by 25%. Oh my word. Increased damage to health and armor by... I think we're just going to go with the damage for Garrett. Straight up damage. Make him a cannon. A real Thanix cannon. James? Five points for James. We're going to wait for Carnage. What does Carnage's last upgrade do? Armored units? Or just increase the damage? Probably just increase the damage for James. Let's go! And Citadel is under attack again? What the hell? We don't ever get a break. Is that Bailey? Oh, they just got Bailey! Okay, people, coming in hot. Get to cover. Tur Sir! Let's roll! Hey, Garris, hold on. I got some stuff to do. We're, go we're literally going in hot. All right, how are we gonna do this? Let's do James's. Garris, get yours. We'll get ours, James, get yours, and then we'll hit Tours, Garrus. James has no grenades. Wait, how did James have grenades? He didn't even. Did you use all your grenades already, James? Is James just out of grenades from last mission? That's crazy. That's absurd. All right, Garrus got his own. I want fire on mine because I feel like fire. I just feel like we can combo off of it better. Grenade. Eat that, sucker. James, you have no ammo. Tell you what, I'm going to take Singularity and put it over here. And I'm going to spam it a lot. because it's got an explosion to it now. Woo. Is there any ammo around? James, I just need some ammo for you. Your grenades they just have nothing. What the fuck is going on? Shepard was stuck. James, what are you doing? He just ate that turtle on. See ya. Take them casually, Cerberus. Wait. Where are you? Fucker, where are you? You have a lot of smoke, Cerberus. See that backup throw? Garrus is just destroying. Snipe! These dudes and the <laughs> Nice Ah Shepard <laughs> Wait Bailey <laughs> You're alive I need the loot <laughs> Bailey's alive, that's good. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I didn't think they would just kill Bailey like that. I just didn't think it was gonna happen. Ah, Shepard! <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Now Cerberus is here trying to take over the Citadel? Hold on. 
Party Citadel. Salarian Counselor has concerns that Counselor Dina is a potential security risk. Go to Citadel and discuss the matter in person. Well, that was a ruse. It was basically a ruse just to get us to the Citadel. So, Udina probably has nothing. But I'm saying that. <laughs> ah, Shepard! <laughs> get, get him up on his feet, James. I got some looting to be had. All right, let's go over this way. <laughs> Anyways, I think it was just a game telling us to come to the Citadel. And it was triggering Cerberus invasion on the Citadel. So, Udina probably has nothing really going on. All are Who knows? <laughs> here, Bailey. Hold on, Bailey. You know there's stuff here to loot. And if there's not... Sorry. <laughs> James started with no grenades. How crazy. What's up, Garrus? Well, there's something here. Got a medical station. Damn, Bailey might not be alright, actually. He might be dying. Fucking hell. Where's Bailey? I haven't seen him. Ah, <laughs> Shepard! Alright, alright. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, coming, Bailey. I just want to loot. I gotta get it all in. All right, Bailey. Shepard, I saw those Cerberus troops on you. I thought you were done for. Bailey, what are you doing here? Getting my ass shot off trying to retake headquarters. Cerberus took it in the first push. We gotta kick them out of there. Everyone in C-Sec's flying blind without the network. How bad's the situation? Do you know if the counselors are alive? They split up. I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. Can you get us in? I'll get the door. If no one interrupts me with a bullet this time. Gonna be alright. Patch him up. Here we go. CSET network access. Courtesy of Cerberus. How's that gonna help? Cerberus has control of the main channels, but I can set up a new one. Without it, our people have no plan and no chance. Hello. What have you got? A warning from Counselor Valern. He's supposed to be here meeting with the Executor. Be on guard. The likelihood of betrayal from within is high. Not a lot else. But if he's inside... Why meet? I can launch a rescue? Why would the counselor be meeting with the executor? Usually it means someone big's about to be prosecuted. I guess that someone had Cerberus friends. The counselor mentioned Udina. But that's insane. Does he even have this kind of pull? Well, you know who'd have the answer to that? The counselor. Maybe. What if Udina's fucking with Cerberus? One counselor's better than zero. Where am I headed? He could be in the executor's office. It's a fairly defensible position. I'm on it. Just a sec. There. Now we can talk by Omnitool. Go! Okay. Dane, did you hear all that? Yes. I'm nearing the building, but running is difficult. I'll try to get to you. Hang in there, Thane. Take it easy. Where's Caden? Is Caden still here? I thought, well, Thane said he was going to look after Caden, but... Oh, my word. What if this is a crazy twist, friends? Seriously. Udina's got something going on with Cerberus just when I started liking Udina. <laughs> what the hell? Udina has something with Cerberus? I don't know. I don't want to believe it, but it's fucking possible. Wait, why'd you guys change your weapons? Did a good stuff. I'm on it. There we go. All right, well, let's keep going. I'm worried about Thane. I really am. He sounded like he was having a hard time, but Thane will be Thane. You know, he's still going to be good. Silent, but deadly. Hey, friends. Eat that. Anything else around? Oh, 
Drop it on him. We're gonna have to pull him. That's fine. Without Liara, I think pull. We'll use pull more when we have Liara. Mother effer. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfucker! How many times? <laughs> you gonna keep dodging? Look, he dodged it again. Thank you, Garrus, for killing him. <laughs> Cerberus is crazy good. They're so good against biotics. They really are. They dodge so much. I understand, though. I do. You see a ball coming at you? You're gonna freaking dodge. I get it. As long, I mean, instant. If it's instant, they're not gonna dodge. Dodge. Yeah, if it's instant, they're not going to dodge. Level 49. Assault Rifle. Sing. Oh. Well, Cerberus is here. Good friends. Come on down. <laughs> Go ahead. So the hundreds in the lobby. They were dug in. I can see more through the cameras. They're all over the station. I can hell they're everywhere. Cerberus is trying to take over the Citadel. Encrypted emergency message from Commander Bailey to all officers. Cerberus attack in progress. All hands on deck. Are you liking this shit, James? The hero of the Citadel. This one got it in the back of the head. Inside job. Same as Mars. Cerberus sure like sleeper agents. So, they're completely trying to take over the Citadel. They came in probably through channels. They had supporters. Oh, no, but it's for the Reapers, too. It has to be, because Cerberus is basically in Like, I'm still not fully understanding Cerberus' thing here, because if Cerberus is indoctrinated, if the Elusive is upgrading the Cerberus troops to be indoctrinated, whatever the fuck he's doing to them, they're working for the Reapers. So, I just don't understand his motives. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Security doors have been sealed for your protection. Let me in. Look at them four grenades James has. He's ready to go. So we don't know where the other consulars are. We only know where the Solarian one was supposed to meet over here. Or something. <laughs> Oh. oh, he dropped that grenade right on my head. <laughs> well, that's a good spot, I think. Garrus, I thought you were... Where you at? Wait, is our... We didn't, it didn't blow up. Our singularity is on blow up, right? It's on blow up duty, yeah? Yeah, it's on detonate duty. It didn't blow up there. Or it's because it was after battle. We're mopping them up. Recon hood. Woo. All right, hold on. Where we gotta go? I don't really say. Probably over there. Let's make sure we're getting everything here. So this is C-Sec that we're heading through. Interesting. Well, at least we got the C-C-Sec in the game. It's a bit messy at the moment. M79 Revenant? What the fuck is this thing? Let me see what the hell this thing is. <laughs> this thing looks. Oh my. Oh, it's this weapon! We've seen the models of it in the second game. Oh, your horse is here. Let me see if I can try the Revenant. 110. That works for me! Oh, we can't put no mods in it, though. It's still 110. It's still lighter than the shotgun. The M76 Revenant unleashes a storm of deadly high-velocity slugs. 
It has low accuracy but high thermal clip capacity and packs considerable firepower. This custom-made machine gun features technology not widely available, protected against replication by sophisticated fabrics rights management FRM technology only the richest and most powerful warlords can afford the revenant. James, I feel like I want to give you that. <laughs> I just do. <laughs> can I give it to you? But you're not going to have any upgrades. He also has that. James, you're getting that thing. It just seems fitting for you. Garrus, I'm going to put you on the particle beam weapon for now. We can put him on the revenant. Put Garrus on the particle beam weapon. Actually, we'll just keep him on the face chain because it really don't matter, honestly. He's going to stay on the sniper. But Shepard, did we just go to... What is the other one? The Tempest 103? I'm going to go with the Tempest just in case... This weapon is just too hard to use because it seems like it said it was very hard. Low accuracy. Just in case it has low accuracy. And it's very just hard to use. Look at this monster of a weapon. Oh my word. They really went room to room, didn't they? They sure the fuck did, James. We're gonna stop him. Alright, let's do James's ammo first. And Garrus. We'll do yours. Actually. We'll do James's again. Well. No. We'll do. What is James? We're sure not gonna be able to do that. Which is fine. Wait. We can do it. We switched to Garrus's this one, right? Understood. And we put this one? Alright, we switch Garrus back now. Yes, Shepard. Thank you, Garrus. You're stellar. Now I do James again. Alright. Because I want both fire from me. Because we get an explosion from that. And then Garrus, I always want you on... Understood. Armor Pearson. We good? James, I'm going to put you on this big gun. Do some serious uh -huh. damage. Oof. James and Shepard are on Revenants. <laughs> Let's go to the showers. Time to take a load off with it. They got it, don't worry. Thane's got this. Well, we have a Revenant just in the bathroom, chilling. Somebody was in there. They were about to take a nice break. And, well, I'm just make sure we're getting everything. You know what we should probably do, if you think about it? I was thinking about gear because we just got that recon hood. We should maybe think about doing gear with power recharge speed. If we do gear with power recharge speed, we can probably carry heavy weapons. Goodbye. Oh, we got the fucking weapons bench here. Sniper rifle extended burial. Well, we have the weapons bench. We can get things and stuff on the stuff. <laughs> things and stuff on the stuff we might as well we have to do the weapon stuff again that's fine we'll modify this we will do damage and power recharge 123 so worth it James let me hit you with the good stuff now damage and piercing Garrus <laughs> I'm going to put Garrus on the beam weapon. But we're going to change out of the scope and go to piercing. Everybody good? Everybody's got good stuff? We're good. Let's keep on trekking. Elevator door. Let's go. Any survivors in there? None yet. Damn it. Keep looking. 
We got this, Bailey. Don't worry. I still can't believe Cerberus is here. What are they doing? Cerberus has so much power in this game. It's unreal how much power Cerberus has. Richfield! Lamont! You alive? Hey! Am I not alerting the whole station? If gunfire doesn't put them on notice, I sure won't. He's got a point, James. Richfield and Lamont. That's who we're looking for for Garrus. Garrus has friends. Well, obviously. Personnel log, Armando Owen Bailey. His name is Armando Owen Bailey. Entry 1. Warn her that if he doesn't fill out this report properly, I'm kicking his ass from one end of the Citadel to the other. Entry 2. Rescheduling meeting with customs analysis about cargo weight. Discrepancies over the last year didn't let him wiggle out of that again. Damn it. Entry 3. Reports of undesirables getting on station illegally have biometric system calibrated again. Entry 4. Kick her sorry ass from one end of the Citadel to the other. Who the hell is Herc? Herc might be the one, the inside source. Damn it. What if Garrus' people were? The Ridgefield and Lamont? I doubt it. M25 Hornet. We have more weapons here. We'll continue. We'll continue. Because that one, I don't want to do the whole, <laughs> I don't want to do the whole ammo thing again. It's tricky. A Talon? Well, look at all these weapons. How could you let me in there? Oh. High caliber. Secure tool. How do we get in there? There's gotta be a way. Access is denied. Can we window? Access denied. Let me in. What are we missing here? Oh. Door control. Did that that was a door control, did it open it up? Oh it did! The Talon From Sergeant Uriah Shaw to Captain Inamayo. I brought up hashtag 177504 from evidence so you can see it for yourself. We caught the slag who was assembling it in the tower 110's bathroom. He got it past the detectors in pieces, metal barrel and a hollowed out omni tool. Ezo and one of those scission toothbrushes. The rest was plastic or ceramic, no gang ink on him. He was in a sport coat like most of the male employees of Tower 110. His ID was manufactured. He's got a record that dates back to when his med card was issued. And before that, nothing. This is way beyond coincidence. This is a pro assassin and he's not alone. We got people smuggling talons all over the station. Patrol knows it. Organized crime knows it. Everyone knows it. But when you try to talk to the Major, you hit a steel wall. Where is Eternal Affairs when you need them? Why can't we get an open investigation on customs? You would not get away with this blind eye business if this were LA or Hong Kong. The Major said he's not going to screw over good police because of one nut with a pistol. But it isn't just one. Ask the Executor this. If this is the stuff we're catching, what's slipping by? Shaw. Oh, this pistol sounds fucking serious. Talon. We'll continue. We'll definitely try that at some point. The Talon and this is more Cerberus weapons, really. It looks like a Cerberus weapon. The other one, the Hornet. The Talon and the Hornet. We'll go out on a mission with the Talon and the Hornet next. Because it was a pistol and submachine gun. But I want to just wreck with this. This thing looks fucking awesome. That reload speed, though. But it is 60. We ain't getting through there. Interesting lure on that pistol. Oh. It's got some serious recoil, don't it? We should have stopped and listened for a second and see what they were talking about. 
Look at all these bullets. <laughs> We've got to be close now. Yeah, there's a stairwell further on. Executor's office is right above it. Let's hope we're not too late. Lisa, I heard her name. I heard her say her name, but here we go. Uploading out of the back of a Westerlin news van. The gunfire behind me is CSEC trying to retake the central communications hub. Without it, they can't get a signal for help off the station. There's no word why CSEC reinforcements have not shown. We are looping this transmission in the hope it gets through. CSEC forces are urgently needed at the comm towers. Looking upgrade. Hang in there, Kalisa. We got this, all right? Anyone else want some? Ooh, this thing is hard to hit with. Dead. Damn, Garrus. You had to snipe him. Damn. Let's get some distance, or let's get closer. This weapon's uh, pretty rough to use. <laughs> it's really rough for an adept. Or it's just rough to use in general because, man, this thing does some serious. What is it called? Recoil? It has some serious fucking recoil. Don't worry, Kalisa, we'll get this done. I hope she's gonna be alright. She says she's in a back, she's broadcasting from the back of a van. Stay alert for illegal AI. All the suits are highly pressurized. You want a career in internal affairs? Here we go. Medical station. Sniper rifle piercing mod. Well, if it gets out of hand with the recoil, we could always switch to the Tempest, and that's why we got it. That's why we used the Tempest. Was that everything? Let's make sure. We even got us going. We can't go down here. Can we? Access denied. Or VI? Got us going. Well, executor, the executor's office. Bailey, looks like they got the executor and two Solarian bodyguards. Keep searching. If you don't see the counselor's body, don't count him out yet. Is he in stealth? Yep. Found him. He looks unharmed. Get him somewhere safe. Don't even think about it. Shepard, he's going to kill us all! That remains to be seen. I mean, Utina, he's staging a coup. He's got the other counselors now to hand over to Cerberus. Three on one, pal. It's over. No. No, it's fun. Thane's too good. <laughs> Should've shot him, Thane.
Why did we sit there and not help him? <laughs> it was a cool, awesome cutscene, but Shepard. Fucking hell. How bad is it? I have time. Catch him. Shepard, what's going on up there? Thane needs medical help fast, and I need to take care of an assassin. He must be going after the rest of the Council. Get the word out. Odina's trying to seize power. I've got to get to the Councilors. What the hell's going on? They're being taken to a shuttle pad on the Presidium. Start driving. I'll try to raise them on the comm. I've got a fix on the Council's position. I'm sending it to your car. Good work, Bailey. We're almost there. <laughs> <clears throat> this motherfucker again. Going down. That's how you truly park, James. <laughs> <coughs> Fucking hell. Shepard, my instruments say your car stopped. I'm on foot now. Any luck contacting the council? Negative. Their guards are dead. But we've still got vital signs on the Council's transponders. Where are they going? The shuttle pad above Shalmar Plaza. Houdin is with them. If he can get them in range of that assassin, this is all over. On my way. Okay. Let's stop and talk for a minute because we just left Thane. We just completely left Thane there. And Thane is completely stabbed through the middle by this damn assassin. Who the fuck he is? Why did we just sit there? I know Shepard was probably trying to protect the counselor, but man, we should have helped Thane. Let Thane just fight this assassin by himself. And now Thane is stabbed up. Bailey, you better get Thane some medical help fast, please. The fuckers. This is getting out of hand. Cerberus. Fuck is this thing? Eat that phantom. Ooh, Cerberus phantom. I'm running. That thing was crazy looking. We'll have to read about that, but we've read a lot this episode. We'll read towards the end. I want to. I want to see what's going on here. I just. I don't want to stop and read anything. I'm kind of on the edge because Thane's all stabbed up. And now we got Odina really staging a coup with Cerberus. Has he been with Cerberus all the time? Is he indoctrinated as well? Oh my word. How? And why? This weapon's fucking sick. It's really good on the companions like James is wrecking with it. I missed. Wait, do I got somebody behind me? No. All right, hold on. Woo! How you like that? Woo! See you later. How the hell we get over there? We all we gotta jump. No, they don't. Uh, we'll wreck them, Garrus. Uh, 
Eat that! Hey, fellas! Good to see ya! Oh shit! What is? See you later off the Citadel. Yours! <laughs> there is a snipe! Like it was nothing! See you later, ma'am. Wait. What we got going on here? We got one more somewhere. Oh! And there was a shit ton of this. There was like three of the nemesis. Ooh, yeah. That was fucking awesome. Fire ammo was really great. All right, we're going to have to read about them. I just need to know. Priority Citadel, what came up on this? Cerberus, the Citadel was under attack by Cerberus forces. Work with Commander Bailey to stop Cerberus and protect the council. We gotta figure out what the hell these things are. Phantom? Phantoms are agile Cerberus agent with a wide array of offense and defensive capabilities, including particular specialization in evasive maneuvers and firing from cover. Although intelligence on their implants still evades the Alliance, Phantoms are known to be able to create personal barrier for great protection. Barrier that she put up, yeah, we've seen that. Monomolecular blades and biotic shielding allow phantoms to engage in close quarters combat, and phantoms can briefly cloak in order to recover from injuries. Because of this ability, the Alliance recommends personal confirmation of a phantom's death. I want to read about this damn assassin that we have going on here. Nothing came up on that either. Where the fuck is Caden at, too? Caden is on the Citadel somewheres. Is he not? I remember Udina, if we think about it now. Udina did say he was going to keep Caden close. Oh no. That Vermeer survivor, I feel like. Huh. <laughs> they go through some shit, don't they? They have like up and downs of just. You keep getting snippets of them in the squad, and then all of a sudden, now we're going to see Caden probably fucking indoctrinated. By Udina and fucking and Cerberus. They sealed it behind them. Oh, there we go out there then. Shalmar Plaza. Let's hope not. And now we got Thane that's injured. This is too much. I can't have another one. I just can't. I don't know if I can deal with it. This <laughs> so soon. We just lost Morton. I don't want to lose Thane. We know that Thanes don't have that much time left anyway, but still, I don't want to freaking lose Thane at all. I'm still was just holding out a hope that we can somehow save Thane from... Well, just from whatever the hell is going on with this illness. I was hoping that in the second game, but it doesn't look like it. Keep on trekking. Salvage some credits. 6,000 credits just sitting here chilling. I think we'll have more phantoms. I won't lie, the phantoms and the nemesis are really cool enemies to fight. <laughs> they really are. Atlas! I'm at Shalmar Plaza. Where's the count? In an elevator. They're trying to get to the shuttle dock. Someone's following them. Someone with a sword. Yeah, it's him. Son of a bitch. Let's drop grenades. Oh, we can use him as a detonator. Let's chuck him. Chuck grenades. <laughs> Fellas, where you at? That hurt. Garrus. Got a ride for you, Shepard. Grab an elevator. Hey fellas, don't worry, I got it. I'll kill them all. I think I missed. And we gotta push up or something. 
where they teleport down to me. There's James. Hey, Garrus. Good to see ya. I missed you. I want to see an electrical explosion. Like, I want to hit someone with overload and then throw and then have some kind of big ol' electric explosion. I don't think that's a thing. We haven't seen anything like that in the game. and shock <laughs> okay it's it's giving us some funnies even though with the situation that we're in <laughs> Shalimar Plaza I don't think we've ever been to any of these parts of the Citadel where's it got us going it doesn't say this looks familiar though kinda in a way Not getting through here, dumpster. You know there's something. Nope. Bailey said he's got a, a elevator for us or something. Are you Bailey? <coughs> Look at them revenants. Mother effort. Okay, I'm in elevator. the shaft. Hang on, this will be a fast climb. Hey, fellas, you alright? Where you at? Tell me that assassin hasn't reached the council. He's trying, but I'm making his elevator stop on every floor. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Screw you, assassin. I found our friend. Kill his elevator. There's a power conduit beneath it. See ya! By assassin. Going down. <laughs> you like that, James? Incoming phantoms. What? Where? I'm hiding. Guess that was their stop. Don't know what we hit it with, but we hit it with something. Bad news. Is there any other kind? That hitman jumped to another elevator, and he's overridden my controls. He's on his way up. I can't stop him. I'll handle it. Here they come! Where you at? This motherfucker was shooting us falling out the air. <laughs> Shepard? I see them. Jump! What's that noise? There's Caden. Gun! Get down! Go! He's protecting the council. Servers took out the shuttle. Everyone back to the elevator. Move! Shepard, what's going on? Shepard's blocking our escape. He's with Cerberus. Just hang on. I got this. Everyone calm down. You're making a mistake. I've come for Udina. Udina's fully the bad guy here, huh? It seems like it. I've come for Udina. You're making a mistake. Shepard's blocking our path. He's with Cerberus. Udina's trying to twist it around on us. Why, Odina? What for? What is your purpose in life now, sir? I just... I can explain this, Caden. Come on, Shepard. Gun drawn on a counselor? Kinda looks bad. 
We don't have time to negotiate. You've been fooled, all of you. Udina's behind this attack. The Salarian Counselor confirmed it. Please, you have no proof. You never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. We've mistrusted Shepard before, and it did not help us. We don't have time to debate this. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. Aiden. I better not regret this. You won't. Udina, step away from the console. To hell with this! Oh shit! He's got a gun! Bye bye, Udina. Get the council back and cover that door. Well. The door! Bailey? Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Something's not right. You said Cerberus was targeting us. Where did their soldiers go? Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper Tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor, I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. And you have saved my life twice now, Shepard. I owe you both a personal debt, and one on behalf of Palavan. About time. Just doing my job. About time. I don't really want to zing him. About time. I don't want to zing him. I just don't feel like it's the time and place to say, About time? You, you owe me a lot now. Because I saved you twice. Just doing my job. But well, we are just doing our job. We just wanted to come to the Citadel for a friendly visit. And, well, here we are. You don't owe me anything, Counselor. Times like this, we all stand together. Commander, do you have any idea why the elusive man would do this? No, I don't. But I plan to find out. Oh, shit. All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it. We killed Udina, friends. I don't know how I feel about that right now. Once upon a time, I probably would have been happy, but... I don't know. Yes? Things didn't go as planned. The Council's still in control of the Citadel and Udina's dead. Udina was expendable. Now what? There are other plans in motion. I'll fill you in when you return. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Ling. It won't happen again. Hmm. We'll see. Come on, elusive man. What the hell? <laughs> the ultimate bad guy here. You looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. They'll come out soon enough, people just don't vanish. Well, they kind of don't, Bailey. These are tunnels, right? Just one exit and one entrance? No, that keeper tunnel from the elevator lobby led into the superstructure. Once you're in there, the place is like an ant farm. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess he didn't trust that Udina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into work to Memorial. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh, there's complications. Complications? Do you think he'll make it? I caught that they didn't have much drill blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son Koliat. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus. If you want to see him, uh, I'd go now. There will be time. Thanks, Commander. Yeah, we'll definitely go see Thane. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian Counselor says he's a hero. It just, uh, I don't know, make things easier for him. Well, he's in surgery, and Kolyat's on the way to the Citadel. Hopefully, Kolyat gets here in time. Uh, so many pieces to put back together since the Cerberus attack. We're reeling from the implications. Udina in league with Cerberus trying to murder the Council. 
These are dark days for all of us. It doesn't even make sense, Bailey. Your injuries, Citadel, Udina, loved ones, the war. Let's just ask him all these. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. Probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is gonna keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. Citadel, Udina, loved ones, the war. Can this station be defended? The internal security breaches have been patched, but we're dangerously low on manpower. We're grilling our own people and trying to figure out if Udina acted alone, but it's time consuming. All in all, we're still vulnerable, but I think we've taken the right steps. Yeah, but what made Udina do it? Didn't he see the progress of what we're doing? Why cut tail from the Alliance or just humanity as a whole and go and fucking join Cerberus? And then we had to kill him. I'm happy that Caden's seen the right thing immediately, pretty much. We just... <laughs> he's I better not regret this. I mean, you're not going to regret it. You're doing the right thing. But I'm happy that that went well with Caden and Shepard. We just killed Udina. I still don't know how I feel about it. Udina had a really... Well, he had a decent character arc in the, in the beginning of this game. Now he just went to all shit. I just don't think it makes too much sense. Why he would stage a coup with Cerberus. With Shepard doing what he's doing. Is it just too much for him? Too much on his plate? Cerberus got to him? Or he just got indoctrinated, I guess? Maybe? Maybe he was just scared of Cerberus and, well... Being scared makes you do interesting things. All that time you were working for Adina, did you ever suspect? Always rubbed me a little wrong. Still, that traitorous bastard upped me. Probably made me for an idiot. <laughs> I guess I proved him right. He's dead. And you're still here, Bailey. <laughs> Thanks to you. If you hadn't shown up, Odina and Cerberus would be dancing on my grave. Good thing they're not. Maybe Odina was just in leagues with Cerberus the whole time. I wonder if the elusive man recruited him during the second game when we just didn't see it behind the scenes, basically. <laughs> Odina and Cerberus will be dancing on your grave. They sure the fuck would. Love wins the war. Well, I'd imagine if we didn't come, Caden would be in Cerberus right now against his will. <laughs> Hell, man. You hear anything about your family out there? Not a peep. I always believed I'd get a chance to tell my ex-wife a few things. And my kids on Earth. I was supposed to visit them. First vacation in years, but I had to cancel when I got promoted. Don't give up hope, Bailey. Thanks, Shepard. I'm really trying not to think about it. Take it easy, Bailey. You'll be alright. I know it's gonna be hard. But hopefully one day, you can see your family again. How does the Citadel fit into the war now? Uh, the war finally found us. This is so far beyond our imagination, and we have been trained to expect the unexpected. Since the coup attempt, folks are shutting down and shutting in. I hear a lot of praying. And crying. They're saying this is the war to end all wars. Well, I haven't seen anything to say they aren't right. That's certainly true. No time for rest. Good luck, Bailey. Yeah, you too, Shepard. Good talking to you, Bailey. Keep your head up, sir. Hopefully it gets better before it gets worse. We got Commander Bailey here. Well, let's go check out Odina's office. We might as well. Next episode, we'll just go around the Citadel then. Oh, Bailey's office is shut down. Or Bailey. Odina's office is shut down completely. This well. is a problem, boss. Oh, shit. Cerberus has changed their ciphers, and our code breakers aren't getting anywhere at the moment. I've got our best teams working in shifts on it. But ensuring Citadel Systems integrity is just going to take time. If we can get some of their field encryption tools, maybe sample ciphers. I understand. Keep trying. We'll probably end up finding that on one of them N7 missions. Let me see what that is. And a lot of stuff going on here. This is quite a turn. Udina in leagues with Cerberus? Hell. Cerberus ciphers. A CSEC officer needs updated ciphers to break Cerberus codes. Find the ciphers and deliver them to him at the Citadel Embassy. 
How is Cerberus getting all these numbers? That's one thing we need to consider. Has Cerberus just been this big the whole time and we just didn't know it? It's almost like we're fighting humanity. All of humanity, basically. It's like Cerberus just fully turned all of humanity to their cause. I'm trying to see if we see anything interesting down there. No. Let's check out the Spectre office. I want to check out this first floor, at least this area. I don't know how I feel right now. I've, I've said it a few times. We got Thane in the hospital, critically wounded. He needs blood from Koyat. Hopefully Koyat gets here in time, but... With his sickness, losing that amount of blood. Did we miss these on a mission somewhere? Maybe we missed these. Because it did come up that anything we miss on missions will come up in the Spectre office. We have 128. We need to try the Piranha and the N7 Typhoon. We're pretty close to this stuff. Hopefully by the end of the time, maybe the next run on the Citadel, we'll be able to do this stuff. Let's buy these. They look pretty hideous though. I want to be honest. That belt. Our recharge speed. Not anybody looks at pants. We might be able to put them pants on. We can buy the Piranha. I want to wait until this one. We're never going to be able to buy this one, I don't think. <laughs> we just ain't. We're not going to use a sniper anyway, but I want to try this Piranha because it's a shotgun. And this one because, it well, it looks like a massive, massive gun. Spectre Terminal. Nothing's in the Spectre Terminal. Let's go around Resinkov Material Greaves. Let's go around this first area and see what's going on. And then next episode, we'll dig into the map and see who's on the Citadel. And we'll take the time and going around and seeing what we can do. My wife was just sent back to active duty, and I'm about to get shipped out, too. I was told you might be able to help me. Of course. You're a Neota spouse, correct? I... Yes. How did you know that? We keep identity information on all permanent Citadel residents engaged in formal relationships with Asari. That way, should anyone require diplomatic aid, we can ensure prompt assistance. It's wonderful. Then you can help me send my daughter back to my wife's family? I... I'm afraid, however, that might be a bit difficult. Why? Oh, we're gonna have more... Okay, in time. We'll have more in time. Let's keep looking around this... Damn, this place is... Damn it. How are we supposed to predict the moves of an enemy we don't understand? Divert to... Crap, do we have any AI-enabled fragments of Sovereign? Any Reaper code I can analyze? No? Well, then they'll keep outmaneuvering our fleet, and Asari worlds will keep burning. Okay, hold on. What's this one now? Oof. Reaper code fragments. In a sorry war, strategics needs fragments of Reaper code to predict enemy movements. Find a Reaper code fragment and deliver it to her at the Citadel Embassy. This place is packed now, friends. Look at all these. Look at all the Citadel security, though. Okay. Let me go check on this side now. You got awesome armor, man. I really like it. Lot. Hey, Avina. You think Avina will have anything new? No? Probably not. This is where we dealt with Kasumi stuff. Is this guy still alive? He's still good. Thank you again, Earth Clan. Our military strength is minimal, but we are proud to help as we can. Okay. You sure are. Let me talk to Avina. Wait, can we talk to this guy? How was Avina? Welcome back to the Human Embassy, Commander Shepard. How may I help you? Spectre requisitions. No. That's it. Thanks. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. So what happens with Udina's position now? We find another human ambassador? At some point, I wonder. Anderson, come on back! Great job. Caden, go be the human ambassador. <laughs> no, Caden, I want you on the damn Normandy for once. All right, next episode, we will explore around the Citadel. I want to look at the map, because I want to see who's all in the Citadel, but we'll wait until we come in next episode, because I want it to surprise us. You know? We have a lot of stuff going on here. Odina betrayed the council. He was with Cerberus all along. And we had to kill Odina. And we have this assassin, whoever the fuck he is. The subtitle said Kai Lang. Something like that. He looks like he's somebody high up in the Elusive Man's command. Kind of like how Miranda was, it seems. And 
We have Thane. I'm completely worried about Thane at the moment because we know that he was ill from the Kepler Syndrome and he's lost a lot of blood. But I thought he was having trouble with, what was it, the Kepler Syndrome was making it hard for him to bring in oxygen as well, wasn't it? He was having a hard time just getting oxygen into his body with Kepler Syndrome. And that's how it, that's how it is. Think about it. You're, you know, lack of blood supply. There goes a lot of oxygen right there. You're having your body's having to deal with something else. It's probably going to be hard for him to regenerate, recuperate from that stuff. Oh, I just don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. I just, I don't, I don't want to see anything like that happen. I, I just don't. We dealt with it with Morton. I don't want to see it again, Mass Effect Three. Please, come on. Just don't do it. But I do hope in the amount of time that we get over to Thane, which which should be as soon as possible, next episode we will hopefully have Koyat there and given him blood. We have anything else in the journal? I don't think we do. Man, I'm kind of dumbfounded at what just happened. <laughs> I truly am. At least, hey, one thing bright side about all of this, at least the Citadel is preparing for war fully now. You know? It like spark, sparked them on the Citadel. Now, I mean, look at the uh, security over here. They're everywhere now. I'm just happy we stopped it because that could have got really bad. Udina handing the counselor, all the counselors over to Cerberus. The Salarian counselor saved the day. He's the one that reached out to Shepard until bringing us to the Citadel and here we are so he knew all along he knew smart 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 he knew that Odina was doing some shit so Odina was funding the money that he was getting and he was handing it over to Cerberus he was funding Cerberus's or on who the hell is Cerberus fighting just everyone they're probably fighting the Reapers too <laughs> I don't know are they if they're indoctrinated no they're not fighting the Reapers but Anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.